Hank Goldberg here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Hammer? I'm doing okay, Rich. You know something? If he's right, I should bet uh, that horse because my father's name was Hyman Goldberg. Ah. And so I should bet Mo Hyman. <laughs> no. Yes, Hank. So. Yes, Hank. <laughs> okay, Mo, Mo Hyman. But so if there's a there's a Goldberg and a Roth, right, from South Florida. Yeah. You heard about that Hyman Roth, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, Hyman Roth, uh, exactly. uh, of course. Uh, I remember everything he said. I know. I, but but me, no, I, I know Manja with Con Hyman Roth. <laughs> I, I, I had an infection recently, and I remember his line about how we give a million dollars. Just be, never mind the rest of it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. If the money's on the table, I'll know I have a partner. Uh, that's right. All right, Hank, let's put the money on the table here. Uh, is this the Nyquist's race to lose? From what I'm hearing, it is. What do you think here, Hank? Well, I like Nyquist a lot. I mean, he hasn't done anything wrong. His trainer uh, has been down this road before, Doug O'Neill, uh, with I'll Have Another. And I talked with Doug when he was uh, here for the Florida Derby in South Florida. And I asked him about the fact that the horse was lightly raced as a three-year-old because he's only had one race around two turns, and the other was a sprint. And I said, "How did you know?" Years ago, that was a no-no. And he said, "Well, they have, uh, yeah." And there's also breeding limitations on the Dom side about him going the distance. But I'm not buying into that. He wasn't even tired after the Florida Derby. And Doug said that they've been giving him strenuous one-mile exercises which should have him prepared for the mile and a quarter. And he's versatile. Uh, he doesn't have to have the lead. He can come from just off the pace. And in this race, I think you need to be uh, close up because it doesn't figure to be a lot of pace in the race. So, you know, you have to use him in all your exotic bets, and you can't leave him out. Okay. And, uh, I, and I think he can win. So who, who, who else should we be talking about right now? Which other horse? Well, Baffert has a horse called More Spirit who did not like the sloppy track when he was beaten by Exaggerator in the Santa Anita Derby. Uh, I, he likes this track, and he's doing very well right now. Uh, he's going to be a decent price. Uh, I like a, tw uh, a shot, uh, a long shot in here called Sudden Breaking News. Okay. I, I watched his race in the Southwest Stakes. He had a great turn of foot. He has post number two which normally you don't like, but he is going to be a horse who's going to find his way through, I believe. The two posts won't hurt him. He's a deep closer, and I think he'll hit the board. Wayne Lucas says he should box seven horses in a race. Huh? I'm not going for seven horses in a race, but I, I am going to go for five. I'm going to box five horses, guys. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get a, let me get my pen. You got it, Brockman? You're, got it. I'm all over Brockman, it. Brockman, you're my pen, Brock. I'm on You're my it. pen. I'm on it. Okay, Hank, we're ready. We're Speak ready. Speak to me, okay. Hank. Okay. Number 13, Nyquist. Number 17, More Spirit. Mm -hmm. Number two, Sudden Breaking News. Number 12, Tom's Ready. That horse is going to be a, a big price. And number 15, Outwork who uh, John Velasquez will be riding for Mike Rapoli, who will not go for the lead, they told me. He's going to try to take back a little bit. And if you want to throw in a six, I would throw an exaggerator. But I don't know if I have enough to go that deep. Okay, so so let me ask you about Tom. So you're saying the odds for Tom's ready will be inflated? Is that where you're going with me, Hank? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Tom's ready will be a 30 to 1 or better. Okay. All right. Now, is it? Is there? A, I, I mean, I know Susie would love to go shopping, so you might get a good one there. <laughs> yeah, man. I need. I, uh, Susie always needs a new pair of shoes. You know. I mean. <laughs> um, so okay. Uh, is Tom's ready a football-related term? In all seriousness. Yeah, the, Tom Benson, the owner of the. So that's the Tom. The Saints owns Mo Tom, and he owns Tom's Ready. <sighs> uh, the only thing I, the only knock on the horse is that the Saints don't travel well. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> the hammer. The hammer. Okay, so so if somebody just wants to just put uh, a, a couple of a uh, couple of shekels, Hank, on something, what 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 should my listener slash viewer <laughs> consumer of this show do? What should they do? If you bet, uh, if if you bet six horses, if you went six horses deep, mm -hmm. and you bet like a five dollar exact a box, mm -hmm. you're talking around one hundred and twenty dollars, something like that. Uh, On the horses and, you just gave us. Yeah, and and uh, if so, if those long shots come in, you're talking about probably a signer, which is uh, you know 
racetrack parlance for the tax man's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sign that's it. Why, yeah, okay. and, and we no longer have a candidate who wants to do away with the IRS. So they're going to get you. Okay, now, do you have a trifecta for us? You want to put something out there? Uh, well, you got my trifecta. Uh, you know, so my top three mm -hmm. are Nyquist, More Spirit, and Sudden Breaking News. But okay. you know what? You could take Nyquist and More, More Spirit and box them with Sudden Breaking News, Tom's Ready, mm -hmm. and Outwork. Okay. And even and even throw in the uh, exaggerator. Okay. And uh, you're talking about a dollar try. That's six dollars a pop. Okay. And yep. you notice I left out Mo Hyman, <laughs> <laughs> formerly known as Mo Hyman. Yes. And and uh, the reason is that uh, he's had. You know, I talked to um, his trainer, mm. Kieran McLaughlin, before yeah. the race down here. And I had heard that he was having trouble keeping weight on, and uh, not the trainer, but the horse. And uh, Kieran said that he, he was, but uh, yeah. but that wasn't a big factor. Well, he came out before that race, and he looked scrawny and he was sweaty. Okay. okay. Now, here's another factor. Yes, sir. It's going to be 85 degrees. Beautiful day, right? No clouds yeah, in, in, in sight. Yeah, not a good day for a horse that sweats a lot. Okay. Uh, number one. Number two, um, he left town Sunday with the horse early. Because he wanted thought that he got if he got into cooler weather he'd be able to keep weight on, but you know I had a whole Hall of Fame jockey told me when you get into the uh, to the grind of the Triple Crown, if you can't keep weight on it's not a good thing. And he should have hung out with us if he wants to learn how to gain weight. I like it. So a couple more things for you. Is it true the Cup's visiting Nyquist? Is that really happening, Hank? The, the Stanley Cup. You hear about that? Uh, I heard about that. Yeah. Okay. So. It's 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 uh, that's a good story. And, are they put uh, oats in it? What are they put? The number. By the way, there's also the coincidence about uh, number 41 being his number, and he got stolen number 41 at uh, you know, before the race. Uh, okay, keep that in mind. And so Brockman's going to New York. We're, we're have our shows in New York next week. Uh, the two Chris's are going to New York tomorrow. Where, where's he's thinking of going to Belmont? You got a good spot to watch the race in New York for Brockman? Hey? You, you know what the best place is at Belmont? Okay. The bar uh, on the second floor is a wonderful spot because a lot of the, uh, a lot of horse people hang out in there. You might pick up some information. Okay, Brock, but keep your second bar. I'll be there. Second floor bar. Second floor Belmont, bar. Keep your ears open, your eyes peeled, and and start whispering around. I've heard about this. And Mo, Mo Hyman. Mo, Mo Hyman's good. Go go for Mo Hyman. Yeah. They have good sandwiches in that bar too. If you're hungry. <laughs> okay, very good. Hey, before I let you go, Hank, how is Don Shula? Can you tell me anything about him? Uh, yeah, uh, Don, uh, Coach Shula came home from the hospital. He's had two separate stays in the hospital uh, in the last week. Uh, you know, Don, uh, Coach, Shula, okay, Coach Shula and uh, Bob Greasy and I go to the track once a month. Mm -hmm. And and he gets and he, he yells at me if I give him a horse that pays less than $12. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, and he's been in great spirits. And... Uh, just three, three or four weeks ago, I went with him and his son, Mike, and we had a wonderful afternoon. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he looked a little tired, and Mike said they had changed his medication, and that's why. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he's home now, and, I, and I, I, I believe he's doing better. Well, Hammer, you are the best, man. You know I love you. You know my wife, Susie, loves you. We love you here, and, um, and, and I can't wait to have you back before the Preakness. Okay, Hank? I look forward to it. Hopefully... Uh, We'll make some money this year, too. Last okay. year was very good. The Pharaoh was good to us last year. Yeah, the Pharaoh was good. The Pharaoh is my... American Pharaoh. Uh, as my friend who says <laughs> Mo Hyman says. Yeah. So, so, okay, so 13-17 and then box it with uh, two and then a, or, or a host of other ones. That's your... That's two, your... Uh, box them with two, 12, 15, and 11. Okay. Thank you, Hank. Take care of yourself. All the best, everybody there. You're the best. See you, Hank. There's the hammer. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.